going on guys? So this is a 1994 Craftsman. So this particular tractor is a... It says LT4000. Right. Yeah, LT4000. The motor is a 15 horse twin. I see gold. But uh, this this goes for any, pretty much any tractor you work on, whether it be a single coil or double coil. So you're going to need one of these. Um, obviously, you got to take the bolt off. The bolt is huge. That's the bolt you got to take off. I would. I would tell you to use either a battery powered impact or a air impact. I have new bolts here because the old ones are in really bad shape. So after you get all that off, what you're going to do to get this off, this is going to be really, really hard to get off. So what you're going to do is use one of these. This is a... It's not a flywheel puller, it's just like a three jaw puller. You can get these cheap on Amazon, probably like 20 bucks. So you're gonna find bolts that screw into it. All right, press pause. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten these real tight. Um, you may not have enough room to actually put the, the bolt in. What I did to get this flywheel off, you see this hammer here? This is a, maybe a two, maybe a three, or maybe a four pound hammer. What you're going to do is you're going to put a lot of tension on this, where it's pushing on this wheel like that. So you're just going to keep tightening these bolts evenly with a wrench. And then you're going to come around, you're going to hit it here, hit it here, hit it here, all the way around. Now you're going to want to hit it like, you're going to want to give it some good slams. This is from 1994. Look how bad the rust is. Okay. And then you're going to retighten these. Go around. Hit all the way around. These should loosen up a bit. Retighten them. Also, do not forget. Around it here, where the threads are, douse it in PB Blaster. But you're just going to want to keep beating it all the way around. Don't hit the magnet. So when you come here, you can hit here, and you can hit here. Do not hit here. So eventually, you'll get it to where you can get this off. Once you get it off, grind all this down with a wire wheel brush and put never seize on it. And obviously, if you're doing this, it's either because you broke the shear pin. Come on this side. You see this little notch? So either you broke the shear pin or your alternator is bad. Well, it's actually, I think it's called a stator. And they're like, cool, I got this apart. And now you flip it over, and you're missing a bunch of magnets. So, what I'm going to teach you today, besides pulling off the flywheel, which was seized... If I recorded this, it would have took... It took me about an hour and a half, eh, about an hour to get this flywheel off. Um, so to save you the trouble, I explained what I did. <coughs> Don't heat it up. Because if you look right here, let's see if I can wipe some of this away. Anyway, there's a rubber seal right here. If you heat it up, 
you're going to melt that rubber seal. Then you're going to have to replace that seal as well. So, you got it all off. Got your alternator stator replaced. But your flywheel is destroyed now. But it's not. What you're going to do, you're going to buy JB Weld Steel Reinforced Epoxy. Okay? Now this is how we're going to get our magnets back on. And uh, a guy showed me on YouTube, there is another video on how to do this. But he did it in a way that is... It's way harder than it has to be. This is this is a real easy job. So you need a Dremel with a grinding bit on it. Mine fits really loose. So hopefully I can show you. Are you gonna come in here? Turn the light on. I'm bringing it close. So right there, you're good. As you can see, we're right down to bare metal. Um, obviously, something's wrong with my uh, chuck. It's not holding it. But are you going to do this to all of them? Nice shiny metal. And uh, we're going to wipe both of this down with alcohol, or you can use uh, just a generic brake cleaner. And then the biggest thing you need to know is the polarity of each magnet, which I'll go over later. Um, but you don't need to clamp it because you're going to put it in place like this. Um... You're going to put it in place just like that. And if you look, there's zero gap. And the gap that is there is going to be filled with epoxy. So that's the biggest thing you need to know is uh, the epoxy is going to take up the room. And, that, and that's pretty much it. it. It's a pretty easy, simple process. All right, so I got all the magnets nice and clean. Um, I actually used uh, sandpaper. I would use sandpaper instead. You just put the sandpaper down, put the magnet on it, and scratch it up. It's it's safer. Uh, so what I did is I washed everything in Dawn. The magnets and the flywheel with Dawn and hot water. And then I dried it all up, and then I recleaned it with a uh, brake cleaner so there's should be no impurities whatsoever on these things so the biggest thing we have to do now is we're going to set up the orientation of the magnets all right so now we're going to mix up our epoxy and you're going to need a, a magnet because you got to check the polarity of the magnets so on the curved edge, let me see if I can find that different one. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. So, you're going to need a decent magnet. And you can see... You can see I can't connect this magnet. It'll keep repelling. You see? And I believe this one will too. Yeah. So the next magnet that goes between here has to stick. So this one will go here. So it's the same thing with this. This one sticks.
that one sticks this one doesn't so the next one you have to find will stick so this will be the next one so we have non-sticking stick non-sticking stick so the next one's going to be non-sticking like this one so this one will go here We'll double check. All right, so that's your orientation. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix up the JB Weld. Now you only have five minutes to work with this stuff. I think that should be enough. So now all we're going to do is take one of our magnets off. Apply a general amount. Stick it back in. Get you a close up shot. Now we're going to let this sit for 24 hours. I'm going to bring it inside. And uh, tomorrow I'll show you how to put everything back together. Alright, guys, it's been 24 hours. These are all nicely glued. So, what you're going to want to do before you, before you put it back on is you're going to want to put a little bit of Never Seize on the shaft here. That way, if you ever have to take it off again, it's not going to be that big of an issue. So if you did everything correctly, you should be able to put your flywheel down, just like that, and you should be able to spin it freely. You shouldn't hear any magnets scraping. Then all we're going to do is look for where the, the keyway goes in 
and you should be able to slide it right down you might have to move there you go move that back and forth a bit you can push that right down inside put your bolts back on and should be good so uh, I gotta put the armature back on and the fan shroud and obviously the big bolt in the middle and then I'll show you that uh, it's running and charging with the uh, multimeter alright so we got it running I'm gonna show you with the multimeter that it's charging